What is going on guys and welcome back to the Diamond Kinetics Pitching Series. In today's video, we are going to be covering everything you need to know in order to get started using spin efficiency. Spin efficiency is the measure of the amount of spin that affects how much each pitch moves. Like I've noted here, sometimes you'll hear this referred to as true spin or useful spin. Spin efficiency will always appear as a percentage. So what does that really mean? Let's take a look at a quick example. Picture a pitch being released as viewed from above, traveling towards home plate, which in our case is going to be the top of the screen. As this pitch rolls off the fingers, it will have a perfectly straight spin axis, which will give you a spin efficiency score of about 100%. Now, picture that same pitcher releasing a pitch from slightly around the baseball, causing our spin axis to alter like so. Because that axis is no longer aligned perfectly with the direction the ball is traveling, we will get a lower spin efficiency score. The lower your spin efficiency is, the less true spin you will be putting on the ball, which really means you'll be limiting the amount of movement your pitches will have as you stray away from that 100% mark. To better understand this, let's take a look at what this looks like in the Diamond Kinetics Pitch Tracker app. So, spin efficiency can be interpreted both by looking at the percentage and the animation of each pitch found right in the middle of the screen. If you look at this fastball, its spin efficiency is pretty good, sitting near that 100% mark. You can tell this because the blue line looks to be in line with our point of view here. However, if a pitch has a lower spin efficiency, you will be able to see the difference by looking at that blue line. If one side appears much closer than the other, then you can expect that pitch to have a lower spin efficiency. A lower spin efficiency isn't always bad. The ideal range changes for each pitch type. To give you a better idea of what you should be looking for, here's a chart with the ideal spin efficiency ranges for each pitch type across all age groups. For fastballs, curveballs, and changeups, a spin efficiency closer to 100% means you'll be using all of the spin that you've put on the pitch. For sliders, a lower spin efficiency is actually going to be ideal. I've seen great sliders anywhere between our 45% and 0% range provided here. I'll see you in the next one. 